Awesome. Hey, well, hey, welcome, hey. welcome on stage, Stark. Hey, everyone. Nice to meet you. Hey, good, good. Uh, hey, thanks welcome, for joining welcome. us uh, at NFCCon here. Yeah, totally. Yeah, thanks for inviting. Bye. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, I guess uh, before we kick things off here, I guess I want to do a little uh, quick intro introduction. Sure, definitely. Um, so, hi, everyone. My name is Stark, and I'm founder and CEO of HypeHex. And my crypto background is, you know, I kind of like joined the community back 2017. And because I have like tech background, graduated from USC and also dropped off from uh, Connick Mellon University in computer science degree, you know. So I was working, you know, in the tech side, pretty much, um, you know, learning smart contracts, learning, you know, reading all the white papers and getting involved in the space. Um, and for, you know, definitely the hype hacks I created like a, about a year ago. So definitely we're trying to bring more, you know, utility NFTs into the market because we see right now a lot of NFT projects is still, you know, PFP projects. They don't really have the utilities. And we think, you know, for, uh, you know, in the future, definitely the utility NFTs will dominate the whole market because the NFT we see is not only like, uh, you know, just a JPEG, you know, we see it more like a tool and people can use it into different industry, different areas. So therefore, our goal is to making, you know, those infrastructures ready for different creators and from different industries, they can build their own um, utility NFTs. And we say, you know, all the NFTs, not only like utility NFTs, they all kind of like a digital assets. So for assets, it has to have a like value, right? So therefore, uh, from our infrastructure side, we're also building um, something, you know, could help the community and the community uh, can com com come up to uh, evaluate uh, the assets back to NFTs. And uh, we're kind of, you know, uh, um, providing a platform, allowing users to deposit their NFT, to staking their NFTs for financial uh, reasons where uh, just for playing. So that's pretty much an overview of my background, a little bit, you know, what PyPax doing. Yeah. And so with your guys, you guys launched, uh, I guess, your first uh, HypeX or meta meta shoe, I should say, or meta sneaker. <laughs> yeah. Let me pull that up as really quick as well, too. Um, and uh, let me see one second. So we got the metal sneaker uh, here, uh, wearable in different metaverses as well too. So you guys are essentially creating a different, is, is it just gonna be, you guys just creating a lot of uh, original sneakers and shoes or are you guys looking at other like fashion items from jackets and other things too? Yeah, not only for, you know, sneaker, but also like other uh, fashion items. Um, the, the current drop on our platform, uh, we, we ended like a days ago. So pretty much kind of like test run. So we, uh, last month, we did the first Metaverse sneaker design contest. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, a, a, a peer community run project. Uh, we received over 160 designs from uh, 30 different countries. And we let our community to vote, um, you know, over, I think, 3,000 votes appears. And we, you know, we choose the winner, uh, the winners from India. Is I think so, you know, so this is kind of like a new experience, like what we can bring into the fashion, you know, so pretty much uh, from uh, our vision is, you know, NFTs is not only just, you know, NFTs, you can set up to your profile pictures. One of the usage for those wearable NFTs is you should be able to use into different metaverses, different crypto games with different utilities and functionality attached on that. But right now, you know, there's, a huge problem in the metaverse and crypto games, which is all the assets are not uh, accessible into like different, you know, metaverses and games. So therefore we're building, you know, an infrastructure that, you know, for, for different uh, assets from different metaverse games, everyone can just store their assets into our vault. And every, so therefore um, from user's perspective, they only have like one unique NFT and you, they can use this one unique uh, wearable NFTs to access into different metaverses and uh, uh, and games. 
Yeah, I like I like the kind of like the campaign of bringing the entire world to kind of be like, hey, it doesn't matter which jurisdiction you're in, which country, you're able to still participate, and especially within the metaverse, you know, having that interoperability and having it to where you can take your assets and go on to another metaverse is is really is, is like something that's going to have a lot of interoperability later on. Yeah, exactly, because it's just like a real world. Like I'm wearing this T-shirt, right? It doesn't make sense. Like if I'm going to uh, like another country, I have to you know have to, to, to wear in like a, a different one. So I think it's the same thing for a metaverse. And, you know, in my opinion, metaverse should be just like one metaverse and uh, every different projects where, you know, different metaverses should gradually to merge into the one and everyone should be like contributor, you know, to the metaverse. Yeah, we're, we're starting to see a stagnation of like, I would say siloed metaverses. They're all independently by themselves. Like you look at the Central Land, you look at Sandbox, you look at Poco City, kind of like all of them haven't integrated fully yet because we're in the, kind of like the early stages of metaverse. But I think like you're, you're pioneering something to have, you know, to, to be able to let them know that, hey, look, it's going to be interoperable, even if it's a brand new one that's coming up as well. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, uh, we think at this stage, NFT is still very early, uh, which is, you know, people are still figuring out what NFT can do, you know, so therefore, you know, a lot of people thinking, okay, like, why people are spending millions of dollars on a, a, a profile pictures? I mean, if you don't understand, the, you know, the, the basic of blockchain, where, you know, the basic what an NFT can do, that, that's true, you know, because most likely people are using the NFT as their avatar, uh, picture and that's about it. So therefore, we're trying to not only for us, we're pro, uh, we're we're developing our own products to kind of show people what NFT can do, but also we're building a launch pad uh, to providing all the basic like NFT utilities to uh, engage other creators and other communities to use our you know um, utility NFT uh, infrastructure to build their own um, utility NFT to 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 show people like you know nft is not just a, a jpeg picture <laughs> yeah the the jpeg picture phase for the ones that did come into it you know they, that's all they expected but now they're starting to see the different use cases for it like with kind of like you know um so if, if you think of nfts in a kind of like literal sense it's basically a ownership of data set so any data can be placed onto the blockchain, whether it's going to be a physical design that's tied to it or a, you know, even a, a smart contract interaction to where it pings to another one, like ERC 1155s to 721s, you know. Uh, so I think that the possibilities are kind of endless. As long as that data is needed, that data is, is going to be valuable to somebody. Exactly, exactly. And just like uh, the video Justin showed uh, before, you know, you see the the big uh, golden sneaker that sculpture. So what we're trying to do as experience is we're going to fractionalize the, you know, the, the ownership of the whole sculpture and kind of to running a DAO for that. Everyone have like fractionalized ownership of the sculpture and they can decide, they can by voting, they can decide where to go, you know, that sculpture. And also uh, we will uh, adding more utilities to to the NFT, so therefore, you know, people can use it to redeem something. And for our kind of type, you know, uh, we, we call it dynamic NFT. So with our te technology, we will not only say, you know, that these are uh, the, the utilities on our real map. We're actually well coding those utilities into smart contract and convert it to uh, uh, NFT, and we attach into the original NFT holder. So therefore, everything, just as you said, everything, every information is on chain, even though for our roadmap utilities, it's on chain. So we will be 100% transparent to the community. Yeah, it's kind of like if you look at like the, the Mona Lisa, right? Mona Lisa goes to exhibits, the exhibitors get paid to travel and bring the Mona Lisa over. So like for sculptures too, like if you're bringing it to an art museum or bringing it to an exhibition and the exhibitor pays for that or, or whichever way, you know, that can show the owners that, hey, look, this is where it's traveling. It's verified on chain. The owners can vote, say, hey, look, I don't like this location. Maybe let's go to this location. Uh, they can kind of be able to have governance of a physical item, but uh, like on chain. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And so we, we so right now at stage one, we're meaning folks on those like assets backed NFT, you know, assets backed like sculpture or closing digital wearables. So we're trying to bring, you know, 
the real world uh, wearables into the uh, metaverse, into digital, so people can not only just wear it in the in the real world, but also you know in the metaverse, in different games, have different game abilities to play, to earn, to you know from different revenue streams. And I think that's ultimately what NFT can do, you know, for for people like people can not only just you know say it but they can play and uh, uh also earning more uh, money by just playing uh, with their nfts yeah it, it kind of reminds me of like music in like games you know like people would buy the, the rights to play a certain song in a game and then pay the pay the music producers same as having like hey look we want to collaborate with you we want to bring your jacket into our game uh because for them they really love it they want to bring it to their fans like fortnite's been doing it this whole time kind of bringing in artists and bringing in everything with uh, ip rights and everything but i kind of see that way where metaverse will start kind of colliding together to kind of help one another and then of course everyone that's the creators would finally be able to benefit from it definitely definitely and just uh, speaking to the fashion industry uh we're actually uh we're building um our first products uh, is uh, two business, you know, products for the all the fashion brands. So basically, we have like a QR code attached on the shirt or ERC like chip, and then people scan the QR code where you know, you know, like you use their phone and they can redeem the uh, the digital wearable NFT directly, you know. So for the customers, so you know. After they receive the NFT, uh, you know they can you, they can wear into different metaverses, uh, into different crypto games that our partners, uh, our partnering with. You know, uh, they can integrate uh, AR, VR technology to kind of try on, and also um, it could be uh, some like NFT directive coming up. So, for example, like I have an ape, and I can uh, merge like the ape can wear our T-shirt on. So we will gradually develop in different functionalities like that. And also from the you know, brand's pr uh, perspective, it's kind of like a new way to kind of uh, to promote your new items and uh, uh, you know, your, your, your new like memberships because everything could be airdrop to the customers directly. Not like you know, Web2 or even like before, you know, people have to send in all the boring like emails, you know, emails and, and exactly. marketing spam. Email. <laughs> exactly. So therefore, for example, I am a brand and I have new releasing. I just airdrop uh, the new uh, NFTs to the holder, to to the customers and the customer at home. They can use AR VR to try it on, and if they like, they can use the small contract to pay uh, the, the 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 new item directly and. Uh, automatically the brand will ship the you know the physical uh, merchandise to the customers so that's one and another thing, <laughs> yeah another thing is for data right like you said everything is on the data it's on chain every data is on chain so therefore from the brands they can you know end to end to analysis their their customers behavior their you know who who's owning what kind of nfts because before you know from brands perspective they have different distributors under them and the data is you know very very complex because it is hard to merge all the data together so therefore um in the web 3 you know uh, especially for uh you know the fashion industry uh, by using nft to kind of collecting the data will be a very uh, unique way to help the brands know their customers yeah, and also whenever you walk into a store and pay cash, you don't put any emails or anything. They don't know anything about you. They just know that item is sold. But what if what if one day they're like, I want to, you know, see if they see about their opinion, if they want to see if this is like a brand new shoe that we're releasing, if it looks good. Yeah, exactly. So you know, if more and more brands are using the technology, which is means the data will be accessible to everyone. So you know, from one brand, you can even see, you know, other brands' the data. So that, you know, can be, you know, kind of like metaverse data, you know, everything mm -hmm. will be transparent to everyone. Yeah, you can kind of see if uh, people are trying it on, how they're interacting with it. Uh, of course, with the consent from the user, right? Like if they send it to another wallet and don't register, you know, just be anonymous, but still having that data, you know, so it still protects the privacy of the user while they're still enjoying the benefits of wearing their avatar and, and being able to have those items uh, digitally owned as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so uh, 
Oh, Justin, you're on mute. Of course, I'm mute. Yeah, so, you know, also, too, yeah, like, I think the topic, like, digital as well, um, we're even seeing some some brands where, um, you know, you, you can get the digital or virtual version of, of the item, and uh, the value of it is that it can, you know, be redeemed. I think, like, Nike was exploring something like that where they – uh you can get the digital version of the jordan soon you don't necessarily have to redeem it or it's kept in kind of like a shoe vault i should say um but it allows people to maintain or increase that value and and it's like a it's like almost like a just a wrapped or liquid liquid shoe <laughs> yeah as well too so there's a lot of different innovations that still have yet to come for um the digital fashion and, and the combination and merge between physical and digital as well too Definitely. So yeah, we're I, I guess we're hitting the the tail end of this. Um, just kind of want to have like a, a quick final question with you. So like with uh, with Hypex, you know, pioneering in this space and kind of releasing a lot of these things. You said the the SDK for the developers will be coming out shortly. Um, from that, like, how would they be able to find out more information about you and and you know potentially participate as well? Yeah. So I think the best way to uh, find out is us is on Twitter. So our Twitter is Hypex underline io and also our website uh, because you know we have a lot of works are working like underline right now so we didn't release a lot of information because you know we don't want to you know just like uh, last speakers you know we don't want to promise something that put a lot of uh, pressure to us we really want to be you know very um creative and uh, um, gradually you know shipping uh, stuff out so you know definitely uh, instagram twitter um and also our website will be the best way to reach out to us awesome and uh yeah we'll, we'll, be, we'll definitely get you guys back on again in another up, uh, upcoming uh, nft con and decentral as well too uh, so be on the lookout for hypex and uh, we'll see you guys again yeah definitely thanks a lot for hosting me awesome thanks dark all right thank you guys all right thank you yeah.